So today, we get to play with Play-Doh. Some of you guys have been asking me about specialties. I was like listening to lectures while my hair was processing. When I'm anxious, I decide to procrastinate by doing other productive things so that it's not technically procrastinating. So. Good morning, you guys. It's the start of another week in dental school. I am headed off to pre-clinic. I'm actually really excited because today we're doing our first anterior crown preps. So last week we started with a molar crown prep. We started on tooth number 30, which is on your lower right. And today we're actually working on the very front teeth. Pick between eight and nine, which are your two central incisors. Don't know which one I'll be working on yet, but I will decide once we get in there. But I'm very excited for today's assignment. I'm really interested in aesthetic dentistry and if I learn how to do indirect restorations on the front teeth really well, that could definitely be a possible you know, career prospect for me. Some of you guys have been asking me about specialties. Truthfully, I don't really know yet, so I'm just exploring what I like and what I'm good at. I'm excited to try it out. The molar crown prep last week was definitely really hard to get the right angle and make sure that you're not over prepping one side versus the other. So uh, this week might be a little bit easier because it's a front tooth so you get more visibility and more access but I'm very excited and I'm headed off to clinic armed with my pumpkin cream of course thank you Stan he always gets me a coffee so today we get to play with play-doh we're gonna use this to gauge how much we've reduced for our crown prep you just have to mix it up until the activator is incorporated all the way and then you will put it into set kind of like an impression and then you will cut it in order to see how much of the tooth you've reduced all right looks like it's all incorporated let's do it Just wait for it to set. Looks like my camera is dying, so I guess I will just record the rest on my phone. Okay guys, it is long overdue, but I am finally getting my hair done today, and I will actually show you guys the whole process. I'm excited to finally fix my multicolored hair situation. Uh, I definitely look crazy right now, but it's all part of the process. We're kind of lightening up and blending out some of my uh, highlights around the top and the back of my head, and we're just gonna add some like brighter tones, but then tone it down to like a brownish caramel tone so that everything kind of blends in really nicely. So, I'm so excited. How cute is this? Get a little cappuccino and some treats. When you're in the chair for a long time, this is perfect. Okay, you guys, I just finished. I'm filming in the car because I am trying to get home and maybe beat the traffic, even though it's five o'clock, so I'm definitely gonna hit traffic. But anyway, look how gorgeous it looks. It is so different for me, but I decided to fully embrace the warm tones, natural undertones that my brown hair has. It'll be super low maintenance when it grows out. It'll just look like natural but faded out hair. It looks so good. I'm so excited about it. I'm excited to see how it's gonna look when my hair is curly. If you guys are in Brooklyn or even just in New York in general, definitely check out the salon. It's called Sassy Beauty Zone. I had such a good experience with Leo. He did such a great job on my hair. It was also super quick, by the way. Compared to like my regular balayage appointment, sometimes it takes like two hours just to color my hair. And this was like two and a half hours and it was my hair color, my toning, and a blowout. I was basically in and out, which is amazing. Honestly, I had a really, really good experience. Obviously not sponsored. So excited about my hair it looks so pretty and by the way you guys saw i was like fully <laughs> listening to lectures while my hair was processing because your girl has an exam this weekend and i'm not wasting my precious hours sitting there not doing anything i gotta make time where you have it <laughs> 
Alrighty, you guys. Oh, my hair looks so different now. <laughs> it was so sunny yesterday, so it was like really brighter than it is. I came to the undergrad campus, which I don't often do, but it's always so pretty. It makes me feel so motivated when I'm here. I came here to study for a little bit, catch up with a friend, uh, but it's so gloomy today. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> she was not feeling camera ready today. It's so gloomy and chilly today. I feel like this is a day to like stay home and take a nap. Your girl can't do that because I have to submit a video by a product deadline, but also I have to study for an exam that I have this weekend. Lots to do. Now I'm just heading in search of some caffeine because your girl drinks way too much coffee. And then head home and study a little bit more and then finish editing that campaign video. So I already told you guys that I have an exam coming up, but when I'm anxious, I decide to procrastinate by doing other productive things so that it's not technically procrastinating. So I stopped by TJ Maxx after my dermatologist appointment this morning. Got some organizers and more organizers to finally sort out my mess of a spice cabinet. These are to help like organize the fridge. I'm just gonna probably spend the next hour doing that because why not, right? Oh man, why is this stuck? Oh my God. Okay, so water definitely got in there. There it is, nice. Wipe these down with some Clorox wipes and then wait for them to air out while I kind of unload the things that are supposed to go into them. Honestly, you guys, the best life hack is if you want to do this with your drawers. I know that the container store is known for these, obviously. They're so much more expensive than if you go to like your local Marshalls or TJ Maxx. You just have to wait for a time when they get a shipment of a bunch of these so that you can like mix and match and get the right sizes. Like I went to TJ Maxx today and they had a million of these and a million different sizes with lids and without lids. These cost half as much as the uh, ones from the container store for the exact same thing. So why would you overspend when you don't have to? That's your frugal tip of the day. Today is Saturday. Got a pretty lazy start to my day. Just finishing up some review session and practice questions for the exam. I think I'm going to take it tomorrow. I don't know if it's going to be in the afternoon or the evening, but definitely going to take it tomorrow, not today. The weather is quite gloomy outside. I've just been having like a tired, lazy day today, so I'm not really in the mood to be super productive. I know that I have to because I have to take this exam. Honestly, I enjoy the learning about a lot of these topics because a lot of them were very frequently encountered but then certain lectures man just 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 just, just all the parasites and that stuff oh, like I accidentally played a lecture. I recorded my live reaction for you guys after watching one of them the other day and it hasn't gotten any better. These lectures are just, ugh, I don't know. Just just seeing a worm crawl inside somebody's eyeball is just something that I highly respect ID doctors and ophthalmologists for being able to deal with because I could never. And I know I went into medicine and I went into healthcare. Obviously there are things that are gruesome, gross to some people. I'm fine with most things. I would say 90% of things. I'm fine with INDs, uh, pus-filled cysts. I'm fine with huge infections, lots of bleeding and saliva and bodily fluids and things like that. I know that those are just part of physicians and dentists too. What I'm not prepared to deal with and hopefully I will never have to deal with is the parasites. The good thing is, is that they're really not endemic to the United States. So the cases that my professors were talking about are from people that have traveled in from somewhere or that live here and then went on vacation somewhere and then have come back from that. It's not even frequently seen by ID doctors here, but still, <laughs> I've just... It, I understand why they show us the most graphic example of the parasites possible in order for it to stick in our minds, but not not for the faint of heart, for sure. And also I have a face package that's been sitting here. It's been here for a few days. I don't know what it is. Like I used to get so excited about packages. I would like open them immediately. Nowadays, I like open packages a week after I receive them. They just like sit around because I'm lazy and I don't want to open them. I think I'm going to open this with you guys because I took advantage of one of their night shift sales where it was like, overnight 25% off. I recently got into sort of their like loose, I forget what the, the top is called, but I got into their like loose flowy top as opposed to like their regular, you know, one pocket scrub top. So I got two colors of that in colors that I already have as a set so I can like mix and match. I think I will unwrap that with you guys in a bit as like a reward for finishing some lectures. So 